known it is time to prepare for bat roosting season. It's that time of year when homeowners are asked to check their attics and other less traveled spaces to check for guano or bat scat and relocate them before May 1st. So what exactly is bat roosting season you're asking? Well, let's bring in an expert. Joining us live is wildlife diversity biologist with the NC Wildlife Resources Commission, Katherine Etchison. Katherine, thank you for joining us. First, I want to ask you, can you tell us about bat roosting season and why it's important to know about? Yeah, so the bat roosting season begins in the springtime when bats are preparing for the reproductive season. So during this time, the female bats will group up together and they'll form what we call a maternity colony. And all the females will give birth to young at about the same time, and those are called pups. That usually begins around May 1st and it ends July 31st. So during this time period, the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission recommends not evicting bats because those eviction techniques rely on the bats to be able to fly away. And at first, those young bats cannot fly. And so by August 1st, all of the bats have matured enough to fly and they can safely be evicted from your home. Wow. What's the best way to check for bats in your home? So the best way is you can go on the exterior of the home and do a really thorough visual search for any brown staining that could be appearing, especially associated with any sort of opening that the bats could get through. And you also want to look for bat guano, which are the droppings uh, associated with bat excrement. And it looks a lot like small rodent droppings or rodent pellets. Um, and usually that'll be coming straight down from the area where the bats are entering and exiting the home. If you see bats or if you find evidence that they are around, what should you do? So you can take measures to evict and exclude the bats yourself. You can go online to the Bat Conservation International website, which is batcon.org. You want to go ahead and do that before May 1st or wait until August 1st. And uh, sometimes this can get pretty complicated, so you may want to hire someone. And in that case, you can go to the ncwildlife.org website and look for a wildlife control agent that works in your county. Mm. I could just uh, hear someone watching this and saying, what's the big deal? Tell us what kinds of dangers bat pose. Yeah, well, so it's important to remember that wild bats really don't pose much danger at all to humans. We recommend that you not take any measures to have direct contact or exposure to bats. But bats in your house are an unwanted house guest and rabies is really the main concern. So you, if you've had direct contact or any sort of possible exposure, you want to go ahead and follow up with your local health department and they can give you um, some medical advice from that point on. All right, Catherine Etchison, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You, you too. Thank you.